Good morning everyone, this is Haralambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 4th of October. RBA remains on hold and maintains its uh, neutral view. The Reserve Bank of Australia held its uh, policy unchanged today as was widely expected. The statement accompanying the decision, the first one written by the new governor, maintained an overall balanced tone with regards to policy, offering no clear signals on uh, the likelihood of, or timing for further easing. With regards to Aussie, officials tried to jawbone the currency once again by reiterating that an appreciating exchange rate can complicate necessary economic adjustments. However, the reaction in Aussie dollar remained somewhat limited on the news, perhaps due to the lack of any new information. Moving forward, we believe that the biggest uh, determinant of whether the RBA eases again in the near term will be the quarter three inflation data due out on the 26th of October. Elsewhere, the Japanese uh, yen came under renewed uh, selling interest uh, during the Asia Asian session Tuesday, with a couple of factors seen as uh, possible catalysts uh, for the move. Firstly, the corporate prices part of the Bank of Japan's uh, Tankan survey for the third quarter was uh, released overnight and showed that uh, ec the expectations of uh, Japanese uh, firms regarding future increases in consumer prices have diminished uh, somewhat. This su suggests uh, subdued inflation expectations and consequently raises the likelihood that the Bank of Japan may act uh, at one of its upcoming meetings. What's more, some uh, brought USD strength following yesterday's uh, strong uh, rebound in the US ISM manufacturing PMI for September may have added fuel to the move higher in dollar yen. As for today, during the European day, we get the UK construction PMI for September. The forecast is for the index to have fallen further into the contractionary territory, albeit marginally. Nonetheless, the nation's manufacturing PMI for the month uh, surprisingly surged, beating ex expectations for a fall. In our view, this increases the likelihood uh, that the construction index may surprise to the upside as well. Although this could support the pound temporarily, we remain bearish on uh, the currency, especially after cable dipped below the critical 128.50 uh, barrier. We have only one speaker uh, scheduled for today, Richmond uh, Fed President Jeffrey Lacker. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.